YouTube Thief here. This is day 109 of me playing Fortnite. All right, day 109, and we're gonna try something new. I'm getting kind of bored farming uh, Survivor XP every day. Um, that's what I've been doing for the last, you know, uh, 20 days of playing. So we are going to start a new count using all of the advice from the first video I ever made and we're gonna recreate those videos and break them down into sections and we're gonna try to eliminate uh, some of the ums and all of the craziness that went on in the first video which was my first Fortnite video so we're gonna streamline it and break it up into episodes so it's more uh, a lot more easy to understand and go back and forth and rest reference to videos so to do this we need a new account all right, YouTube, we're back. So, it's been 10 days since I recorded the first intro. We are on day 10 of this account, and I am power level 50. So I've almost doubled the efficiency of leveling fast. And with this account, this is a special account. I spent 25 bucks for the game. I bought the mid-tier version. was sure I didn't buy the, the limited edition, so I didn't have access to the epic transforms. And I paid for the first troll truck llama that was out the first day so i've invested 40 bucks into this game i've not put anything else into this game all the v bucks you see is from v bucks that i've farmed from the mission i bought two super people llamas i didn't have enough v bucks v bucks to get the third one so this is going to be the first episode of the streamlined version of how to level your base your home base power super fast all right this is going to be all about your research and your skill trees. What to spec for in the research and the skill skill trees. All right. So before we get into it, I just want to put out stream every night at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 8 p.m. Central European Time on twitch.tv forward slash TC Thief. Come by and check me out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and check out these skill trees and research tiers. Don't forget to smash that sub button. This game is centered around survivors. When working in these skill trees, your first priority should always be unlocking the next survivor. The survivor nodes in these skill trees are identified as being squared, which are not to be confused with the defender nodes, which are also square. So click on the nodes and read them and ensure that you're unlocking survivor nodes and not defender nodes. Unless you're playing solo, defender nodes are not really a priority. If you're playing in group, the defender nodes are not really needed. So be sure that you are unlocking the survivor nodes. The first skill tree is pretty straightforward. There's seven survivor nodes in the skill tree. So ensure that you're working to each of those survivor nodes to unlock the survivors. Whatever points that you think you can hold off on, go ahead and hold off on because you can always come back and get these points or nodes later. Remember that you can't advance the skill tree until you advance the quest line. So instead of totally filling out the tree, if you have spare points, just hold them because during the next skill tree, you will be able to unlock more survivors if you have skill points saved up. So don't spec into stuff that you are not using. As you can see that I didn't spec into this axe evolution because I'm really not using any kind of axes. So once again, if you have points to spare, save them and put them into the next tree because this is always going to speed up your progression. Also a thing to note is the quickest way or the fastest way to level is to pound through the quest line. So stay in the quest line and try not to do anything outside of your quest. Your first priority in skill tree 2 is to unlock research point generation. This is the thing that is going to gate you in the game. Once your research generation is unlocked, start working your way up the tree and to the closest survivor. There's going to come a point where the tree stop gates you and requires a certain amount of nodes to progress the tree uh, on the line that you are on. So when that happens, just start working your way down up a different part of the tree to the next survivor. And then you are just going to rinse and repeat. Once the tree stops you and requires a certain amount of nodes, just keep moving down the tree to the next survivor, spec into that next survivor, move down, and so on. Once you unlock the required amount of nodes to progress this tree, just rinse and repeat. Work 
to the top survivor all the way down to the bottom. Once you have unlocked all the survivors in the tree, then start specking into your hero evolution of whatever hero you're playing. If you want to level fast, try to stick to one hero so that way you don't have to unlock multiple nodes in the tree and you can save them. Remember that at the end of skill tree 2, you have to complete the quest line plank off to progress to the third tree. At this point, you're going to start saving up points so that once you unlock skill tree 3 you have a head start on specking toward all of your survivors once you get to skill tree 3 your priorities are pretty much the same you're going to spec into the research generation node first because once again this is the thing that is going to gate you in the game so spec into that first so you can start generating and storing more research points from there it's going to be the same thing as before you're going to spec up to the survivors until it stops you once it stops you or the tree stop gates you you're going to make your way down to another portion of the tree and spec up towards that survivor once again rinse and repeat the, remember that the quest line for skill tree 3 is very long so you are going to have a lot of points saved up if you work it right when entering skill tree 4 on my main account i had 148 points saved up to spec towards survivors so this was awesome when i got to skill tree 4 i unlocked a lot of survivors and my power level went up four or five power levels so keep it in mind saving those skill points for the future is really going to help you out remember that a limited amount of skill points can be obtained through the commander leveling system there are also skill points in the collection book that you have to unlock and the storm shield defenses that you also have to unlock so you will not have the maximum amount of points until you max out these two other things so just keep that in mind one of the easiest way to conserve skill points in skill tree 3 and 4 is not specking into any gadgets but adrenaline rush, slow field, and supply drop. These are the three best gadgets in the game. The rest of the gadgets are not very good in my opinion so if you stay away from these you will be able to conserve skill points. Moving on to the research tiers. The research tiers are meant to gate your progress in the game. The easiest way to remember it is you're going to take the shortest path to the survivor as possible. If there are survivors that are not unlocked in the research tier that you are in, always be working towards your next survivor. Remember that you're going to progress the research tier to the next research tier as soon as possible. So in research tier 1, as soon as you have 20 nodes, start moving over. I'm playing a soldier on my second account so all of my extra stats went into offense. Typically if you're playing a ninja or something that uses abilities you're going to spec into tech. If you're playing a constructor you're going to spec into resistance or fortitude. Research tier 2 you're going to use the same method. You're going to spec all the way up to the survivors but keep in mind once you get to the survivors on either side you can spec from survivor to survivor. This is something that I did not do the first time I played the game. So as a soldier you can avoid some of the useless stats like endurance and you can spec more into offense. And same thing on a ninja you can avoid specking into endurance and you can spec into tech. Once you have 25 nodes unlocked on tier 2, remember to progress it as soon as possible over to tier 3. Tier 3, you're going to use the same method. You're going to spec all the way up to the survivors using the shortest path possible. The shortest path possible is going to be 5 nodes into the survivor. Now in tier 3, you have to spec up through that stat to get to the specific survivor in that sector. So take the shortest path, which is 5 nodes. Once you have unlocked all the survivors in tier 3, what you're going to do is start working on your stats for whatever class you are playing. Tier 4 is just going to be rinse and repeat. Once again, I, I'm playing a soldier, so I'm always going to start off with offense. I spec all the way over to the survivor in the offense tree and rinse and repeat for the other three. Now, once you are done with the survivors in skill tree 4, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to research tier 2 and finish unlocking the nodes there, or at least the tech and the offense. If you do the math on the research tier points 
per stat point. It is cheaper to work in research tier 2 than it is to work in research tier 3 and 4. Tier 3 is the most expensive tier, so you're going to finish that one last. So once you're done with research tier 2, you're going to move back to 4 and you're going to begin you're going to finish filling out for your stats. By this point, you're going to be far into the game, so I'm not going to sit here and bore you and tell you what to do with your stats while you're in Twine. <laughs>